Hey everybody, my name is Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien. Thank you for spending some time with me. On Friday, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. And within a couple hours, uh, Mitch McConnell put out a statement that they're going to make sure that they get someone in, uh, that Trump has a chance to put someone in. Whether or not he wins this next election, they're going to make sure that he gets a chance to put someone in. Now, this, of course, as you all probably know, goes completely against the argument he was making when Obama was in his last year in office. Uh, the idea was that we're, with, we're within a year of an election. It should be up to the next president to appoint someone. Now, the fact is we're within 45 days. I think we're at either 40, I think we're at 43 or 40, uh, 42 days or something like that before the next election. And they've decided that, no, that rule doesn't apply. I mean, it's not a surprise. We knew that this was going to happen. They said that uh, they'd be perfectly willing, they would be willing to uh, appoint someone, like immediately. When someone asked immediately, they said, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll appoint. But um, they're not willing to hold themselves to the same standard now as they were willing to hold themselves to just a, a few short years ago. And uh, I'm not surprised. It's about power. It's not about actually you know, being true to their word in the slightest. They manipulated the system with 10 months to go in order to make sure they could get someone in the best they could. They even said that if Hillary Clinton had won, that they would hold up the nomination throughout her entire term. So it wasn't about whether or not uh, the next president got to pick. They just wanted to make sure a Democratic president wasn't going to get to pick. And I'm sorry, that's just a, a, a terrible way of doing things. But they won't even hold to their own standard. Uh, Lindsey Graham said that he can, you know, use his words against him. He said, you know, in the hearing is that if there's a Republican president in 2016 and a vacancy occurs in the last year of their term, you can say, Lindsey Graham said, let's make the let the next president, whoever it might be, make that nomination. He said, make sure to keep this recording. Use it against him. And of course, he's saying, well, things have changed. I'm not going to go by that. A lot of Republican senators said the same thing. I mean, you had Ted Cruz. <laughs> Ted Cruz, who actually thinks he has a chance of being uh, on the Supreme Court, which is all sorts of scary. So you had Ted Cruz, you had Lindsey Graham, you got, uh, who is it, Marco Rubio, uh, Purdue out of Georgia, Grassley, Tillis, Blunt, Gardner, uh, Rob Portman, uh, Ron Johnson, all, all sorts of senators basically said, you can't do this in the last year of presidency. You just can't. And now, of course, they're going to go against that. And I talked about this online, and, and people came to me, and they said, well, Obama said that the president, whoever the president in office, should be allowed to do it. And Hillary said whoever is president in office should be allowed to do it. And I find it staggering. Not really. It's more like sad. But I find it staggering that people are saying that these Republican senators should... They should go by what Obama said. They should go by what Hillary said instead of going by what they themselves said. How does that work? Yeah.